As a manager of grazing beef cows, the thing that's always bothered me about standard trace mineral supplements is that we, uh, we put them out for the animals to consume, but there's no guarantee that the animals will consume them in the right amounts. Multimin 90 allows us to address at least three specific trace mineral issues that we have here in the Flint Hills. Other grassland types here in Kansas, the midgrass prairie in the central part of the state and the short grass prairie out west have their own mineral issues. Multimin 90 matches up with those as well. Trace mineral supplements are also heavy metals, and we have to be careful how we use them, how much we put into animals that might potentially find their way into the human food chain. Multiman 90 is an FDA regulated product. It's important to follow label directions in terms of dosage and route of administration. The route of administration is subcutaneous, usually in the neck area. Uh, there are no risks for injection site lesions or minimal risks anyway for injection site lesions if used appropriately. Uh, what I like as a livestock manager about Multiman 90 is that when I apply that injection, I know that the animal is receiving uh, the four critical trace minerals, selenium, copper, manganese, and zinc at exactly her requirement. I know exactly how much is getting in. In our trial at Kansas State University, we used 460 mature cows. Half of these were injected at preg check time during the month of December, and again, about four weeks prior to breeding. The other half of the cattle received a saline placebo. We then monitored reproductive performance during a, a, time, a single timed AI event and the subsequent natural service breeding season. In our study, we got 9% greater AI conception on the treated cattle than on the cattle that received placebo and our calving distribution was shifted farther forward into the spring uh, in the treated cattle as opposed to the untreated cattle.